when you see the narcissist after no contact. When the narcissist sees you after no contact, their perception of you will depend on how much you have healed, how much your life has improved since going no contact, and how long it has been since you have last seen them. If they see you and you are still at the beginning of your healing and your life has stayed the same or you are still trying to repair the damage that they had caused, they are still going to have a negative view of you. If they see you and you have healed to some level and you have improved or changed your life, they are likely to have a different view of you. They may even re-idealize you. Even though they may be with someone else, or even if you are with someone else. They don't care about you. They don't care about improving your life in any way. Remember, it's all about them. When a narcissist interacts with a person, it's all about what you can do for them or how you can make them feel. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They don't even see you as a real person. In their minds, you're just an object that exists to serve them. Although you went no contact with a narcissist and it may have been some time since you last saw them, in their minds you still belong to them. It doesn't matter what happened or how devastating it was towards the end of the relationship. In the narcissist's mind, if they need you or if they believe that you have something to offer them, they will engage with you again as though nothing happened. If you have healed to some level and you have improved or changed your life and you see the narcissist and you make eye contact with them or you both notice each other, they will be trying to read into your emotions. They will be trying to detect if you still have feelings for them or if you are still interested in engaging with them. They will then either approach you and then interact with you as though nothing happened or they might ignore you or treat you with contempt due to their sense of pride and arrogance. This is usually because they feel threatened by you and they always believe that you are superior to them. So they act as though you're worthless or beneath their consideration. They may also not interact with you because they have a fear of rejection. They don't want to put themselves in a position where they could be humiliated. If they do decide to interact with you, it's only because they've re-idealized you and they believe that you have something to offer them. It's not about you. It's not about giving anything to you. They only care about themselves and people are just objects that they use to meet their needs. If you do interact with them, they might just use the conversation to emotionally abuse you and cause you stress and anxiety. This could re-traumatize you and undo all of the weeks or months
that you have spent on healing yourself. With this in mind, you should avoid looking at the narcissist. Don't engage with them. Avoid drawing attention to yourself. Leave the room or event if you can. If you are forced to talk to them, keep the conversation short. If they ask a question, answer with two or three words and then tell them that you have to go. Or you can just walk away if that feels more comfortable. You don't have to talk to them. Just avoid giving any emotional reactions. They want to see you being upset because you miss them or angry because of all of the things they did to you. They want to see some kind of reaction from you. Even if you do miss them, or if you are angry, do not react emotionally. It will only feed the narcissist and give them satisfaction. If you react emotionally, it will give them narcissistic supply. It will regulate their emotions and boost their self-esteem. When you see the narcissist after no contact, it may re-traumatize you. When this happens, you need to view the situation from a logical standpoint and understand that you are reliving the initial trauma. This can have a very negative effect on you if you feed into it. If you allow yourself to entertain the thoughts and emotions that come along with seeing the narcissist again. Have an awareness of your thoughts and emotions. Be mindful, but then let them go. Don't feed into them, but also don't resist them. Accept that they are there. Understand that it, it is normal. And do not judge them and they will go away on their own. Put your energy and focus into yourself rather than feeding it to the narcissist. When you do this, you are giving your power away and you begin to feel weak, anxious, and stressed. Don't feel bad for walking away or not talking to them. They don't respect you, so why should you have any respect for them? They don't even see you as a real person. In their minds, people are just objects that exist to meet their needs. They don't care about what you think. They don't care about what you want. Even when it seems as though they are doing something to help you, it's still about them. It's about them having control over the situation. Don't waste your time or energy thinking about the narcissist. Don't feel guilty for going no contact. Focus on yourself. Focus on rebuilding your self-esteem. Practice self-care. Practice self-love. And everything will begin to improve. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. 
If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at noxweathercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Noxweather store where you can purchase your own Noxweather t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.